currently like 12 30. it's not very early i woke up very late today because i went to bed late last night which was like a big mistake but i was reading throne of glass and i'm on like the i don't even know what book i'm on empire of storms now i think and i had to keep going so i couldn't go to bed last night anyways i woke up kind of late but i'm gonna make myself a little ice latte because when i checked the weather this morning when i woke up 20 minutes ago it said that it's a uv index of eight and it's like 80 degrees out right now it's like muggy as heck in the house right now like i actually kind of feel like i'm gonna pass out i thought that's perfect because then i can go outside by the pool and tan and swim and read my book so that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna make myself a nice latte, and then I'm gonna go put my swimsuit on and head out by the pool. If I could show you, I'd hope that you could see all the possibilities. There could be a place for you and me. This is the swimsuit that I always wear, and I always wear the same one when I'm tanning because I want like the same tan lines. like. Because sometimes I feel like when you tan, you'll get like different like lines if you're wearing like a bandeau top or like whatever. So I always wear this swimsuit when I'm tanning. It's literally my favorite swimsuit ever. Print is so cute. Florals is one of my favorite things of all time. It's from Reformation. I got it a couple years ago on sale. I don't even know if they sell swimsuits anymore, but it's one of my favorite ones. And under the stars, you pack up it's actually so hot my lip is sweating i decided today that i'm gonna use these two sunscreens so usually i'll just use like whatever sunscreen we have out here like this is a vacation classic sunscreen i'll use like spray sunscreen from like banana boat whatever but my sister got this stuff the other day it's a tan intensifier from australian gold and then also this vacation sunscreen that's like baby oil sunscreen it's spf 30 i don't know but i figured by itself a tan intensifier is probably not very good for your skin so if you put it with sunscreen it'll like give you some sun protection but also intensify your tan so i'm gonna try like putting these together i don't know i'm gonna put my hair up though it's actually so hot these are my favorite types of days where it's like so incredibly hot that it's almost like uncomfortable yep i always just do these really ugly buns when i'm outside because like whatever i'm just outside but then i'm like oh i look kind of ugly anyways okay i think if i just put some of this on my hand and then put some of this and like rub it together i feel like that'll work i don't know hopefully i don't end up sunburned it smells really good <laughs> tanning chart on Pinterest I don't think you can see it but it's basically like somebody wrote down like 1030 tan your front 1045 tan your back 1105 tan your front and then also says like things like go for a walk eat lunch it like says what times are like prime tanning time we'll see how tan I get today I'm hoping that like I'll have like intense lines I don't know Okay, I got my clothes on, and now I'm just gonna go for a little walk, and then I'm gonna come back, make something to eat, and go back by the pool. So, let's go for a little walk. I'm begging you to stay. And if I could show you, I'd hope that- It was so incredibly hot outside. I only walked a mile because I just got too hot. I water so bad. I made myself my favorite lunch ever, a sandwich. I don't know what it is about like a little sandwich, but it's gonna do it for me every single time. I've been reading the entire Throne of Glass series and I'm now on Empire of Storms, but I'm doing the tandem read where you do like Empire of Storms and Tower of Dawn. Dawn, I think that's the name of, I think it's, yeah, I think that's what it is. I like literally just started Empire of Storms. You have to read the first five chapters and then you read chapter one of Tower of Dawn, I think. But anyways, I'm gonna read that while I eat. I've been literally so obsessed with fantasy romance reading lately. Like it's actually all I've been doing. I will just sit in my bed or sit out here all day by the pool and read because ever since I read Fourth Wing, that book was so good and it reignited my love for fantasy romance. I've never read Throne of Glass, so I was like, I need to read that series. 
And then also, after I read Throne of Glass, I'm gonna go and read the Akatar series. I'm in such a fantasy romance like vibe right now. I love it. I'm eating it up. Like, I literally read until like five in the morning every night, and I love it. Rowan in Throne of Glass. All I want is like a big fey guy with a tattoo on his face who's like an ancient warrior who's like super old but somehow looks really young and hot. I love sandwiches, they're so good. I have just spent the last like 30 minutes reading all of the Goodreads reviews for Allie Hazelwood's new book, Love Theoretically. I don't know what it is about me but like I just get in these moods where I want to read every single book that sounds good. Like I get in the mood to read and then I come across all these books and I want to read them all like simultaneously but I know I can't because I'm not the type of person who can like start a book and then like start a different book and like keep them separate in my mind. I have to read them like on their own and I have to read them like very quickly. One of my favorite things actually ever is reading the Goodreads reviews for like books that I want to start. It gets me so excited. I feel like when you go into a book where you're like just so excited because you know there are like certain tropes or certain things that you're gonna love in it and you get so excited to read it makes the book 10 times better I'm sold I'm sold give me the book you know that's really all it takes that's really all it takes copy and paste every book I've ever liked change it a little bit I will read it every single time and I will love it I will give it five stars every time something about like a sulking grumpy mean guy falling for the cute quirky nice girl is gonna do it for me every single time Oh my gosh, I got something in my eye. I love summer. I love summer so much. Like, there's just nothing that tops summer to me. I feel like the one thing about summer is that everyone is always like posting pictures, hanging out with friends, or like these huge groups of people. And I personally have never had like a big friend group. I've always been somebody who like, if anything has like two or three friends that I hang out with sometimes. But I mostly am with my family all the time or like by myself. And I feel like that is just not usually what people think of when they think of summer. Like, I feel like they always think of like going to the beach with your friends or going to parties or like 4th of July, you're hanging out with like a huge group of people and like setting off fireworks at night and like all of that, which I mean, yeah, that looks really fun. But I feel like for most people, that's not really like realistic and that's not really what summer feels like to them. And I feel like if you can just embrace like being alone in the summer and like taking time to be by yourself and do things that make you happy you're gonna enjoy your time so much more than if you're like worried about being at home all the time or like how you don't have as many friends as like the people that you see posting on instagram like it's really not that big a deal like it's really what you make of it and i think there's so many things that you can do alone it's such a time to be able to like do the little crafts that you've always wanted to do or like change your room around if you wanted to or like try different recipes and baking and I don't know I just feel like there's so many things to do especially all of the things that you want to do during the year that you're always like I don't have time like I don't know I feel like this is the time to do it I feel like all of the things that you want to do actually can do them on your own like you don't have to have like a huge group of friends to go to the beach you don't have to have a bunch of friends to like make pizzas and have like a movie night there's so many fun things to do in the summer alone this is why like in the winter I cannot survive six o'clock and me and Nolan just finished playing volleyball so I'm going inside and I don't know if I'm gonna take a shower yet or not love when the day was hot enough that you come out at night and it still is like super warm like the breeze is like a warm breeze also I feel like my tan is like I feel like I got a pretty good tan you can see a, a bit of a difference I feel like how'd you get over there bird Hello? 
with all the sprinkles. But they're so good. I'm not always an ice cream person, but if there's gonna be sprinkles on it, count me in.